Hi, I'm Matthew Clausen with MedigapSeminars.org. Welcome to video number six in our series all about Medicare. This series of free online on-demand videos is meant to help those new to Medicare. In our last video, we went over Medicare Advantage plans. We talked about HMOs and PPOs. We talked about why you have to shop your plan every year and who that plan is best suited for. In this video, we're going to talk about Medicare Supplement Plans. As we mentioned in our last video, when you're new to Medicare, you're going to choose between keeping your original Medicare and adding a Medicare Supplement or switching or replacing your Medicare with a Medicare Advantage plan. This decision is the most important decision that you have as you approach your time of starting Medicare. It will define how you get your Medicare, it will define what doctors you can see, how much it's going to cost you, both your monthly premium and the financial exposure you have in case of a serious event. If you've already started researching Medicare, you may have noticed that the Medicare in You guidebook does not have a whole lot of information on Medicare supplement plans. It tends to lean a lot more towards Medicare Advantage. There is another publication by Medicare called Choosing a Medigap Policy that you should already have in your arsenal. That publication is more specific to Medicare supplements. If you don't have the publication, you can get it for free online at Medicare.gov. You can simply go to Medicare.gov and order a hard copy or download a copy in PDF format. We also have one available on our website, MedigapSeminars.org. Simply go to the Learning Zone and the Index of Resources, and you will find a number of resources available, including a link to the Medicare and You Guidebook, the Choosing a Medigap Policy, and the table of Medicare Supplement Plans that we're going to go over in this video. Medicare Supplement Plans are also called Medigap Plans. They are private insurance contracts designed to fill the holes and the gaps in original Medicare. They'll pay the deductibles and the co-pays that you would normally have as out-of-pocket expenses. If you have Medicare Parts A and B that we talked about in video number two of this series, it's also referred to as Original Medicare, and you have no Medicare supplement, then you are at an enormous risk as there's no maximum limit to your out-of-pocket expense. Medicare Part B covers 80% of your outpatient services. That leaves you at risk for 20%. With the Medicare supplement, you can lower that annual maximum out-of-pocket expense to anywhere from $0 to as much as about $2,180 a year. Still much better than the average Medicare Advantage plan, which has a maximum annual out-of-pocket expense of about $6,700. When you have a Medicare supplement, remember that Original Medicare remains your primary health insurance. Because Original Medicare is your primary health insurance, you can see any doctor go to any hospital in the country that accepts Medicare. You don't need a primary care physician. You can see a specialist at will. And approximately 99% of the doctors in this country accept Medicare. It's also important to know that your doctor does not need to accept the particular insurance company that is administrating your Medicare supplement. All your doctor has to accept is Medicare. If your doctor accepts Medicare, they accept all Medicare supplements. It works like this. You go to the doctor, the doctor bills Medicare. The doctor does not even bill your Medicare supplement company. Your doctor will bill Medicare. Medicare will pay its share and then direct the Medicare supplement to pay its portion. And the key word is there, direct. It's not a negotiation and it's not a debate. There is no leeway whatsoever. Your Medicare supplement insurance company has no say in what it pays and how much it pays and when it pays it. It is directed by Medicare. If your procedure is covered by Medicare, then it will also be covered by your Medigap plan. If your procedure is not covered by Medicare, then it will not be covered by your Medigap plan. It's that simple. 
Unlike a Medicare Advantage plan, your Medicare supplement plans are standardized. You may recall from our last video that Medicare Advantage plans are regulated, not standardized. Medicare supplement plans are standardized. Here's what this means. There are 11 different Medicare supplement policies. Each is designated by a different letter. For example, there's Medicare Supplement Plan F, Medicare Supplement Plan G, Plan N, and so on. Each supplement of the same letter is identical no matter who you have that supplement with. That means that you can have a Medicare Supplement Plan F from Mutual of Omaha or Aetna or United Healthcare AARP, and the benefits of that supplement plan F will be identical. And the same if you have a plan N or any other plan from company to company, the plans are standardized. They are exactly identical in the benefits that they offer. The only difference is the price. The benefits are standardized, but the price is not. And this is very important because the price difference from one company to another can be 100% or more. We'll get back to the price issue in a minute. We mentioned in the last video that Medicare Advantage plans can change each and every year. Medicare Supplement Policy is the exact opposite. It cannot change. The benefits of a Medicare Supplement Policy cannot change. Each Medigap policy was designed by Medicare and approved by an act of Congress. It's a contract between you and the insurance company that is guaranteed renewable. Guaranteed renewable means that it cannot change and it cannot be canceled unless you cancel it. You can stop paying your premiums or cancel the plan at any time. Congress can cancel a plan. They've done that on a number of occasions and you may know that Medicare Supplement Plan F and Plan C are being canceled as of the year 2020. When Congress cancels a plan, all they are doing is preventing new people from purchasing the plan. If you already own a Plan F, for example, you can keep your Plan F. And as long as you pay your premiums, the insurance company is contractually obligated to continue to provide those exact same benefits. We talk in a different video about that change with Plan F in the year 2020 and why it is you may not want to keep your plan, but that's for a different subject or for the other video. The bottom line is that your ownership in a Medicare supplement policy is grandfathered. If there are any changes enacted by Congress, it does not impact you and the policy that you currently own. No one can make you change policies and no one can change the benefits of the policy you own. You have control. It's your insurance and it's going to be the same until you cancel or you stop paying your premiums. Because you don't need to be concerned about changes in your Medicare supplement policy, there is no annual open enrollment, no annual election period for your Medicare supplement. The annual election period, that period from October 15th through December 7th, that's specific for Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D plans, not Medicare supplement policies. You can change Medicare supplement policies anytime you want, as often as you wish, with certain limitations. Now that was a lot of information, so before we move forward, let's just do a quick review of the difference between a Medicare Advantage plan and Medicare supplement plans. Medicare Advantage plans, you have to have a network of doctors typically limited to your county or your local area. With a Medigap plan or Medicare supplement, you can see any doctor, go to any medical facility in the country that accepts Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans can and will change each and every year, so you'll have to go through those changes and see if you want to keep that plan for the next year during the annual election period. Medicare supplement plans don't change. They offer you predictable coverage for as long as you wish to keep the plan. Medicare Advantage plans are regulated to meet a certain minimum. Medigap plans are standardized. Every plan of the same letter is exactly the same in the benefits they offer. Many Medicare Advantage plans have no monthly premium. Medicare supplements do have a monthly premium. 
the Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans do include a prescription drug plan. The Medicare supplement policies do not include a prescription drug plan. You can shop from any of the prescription drug plans that are available to you each and every year. When you first enroll in Medicare Part B, you can get any Medicare supplement plan available to you without having to worry about your medical history. You can't be rated due to your medical history. You can't be denied coverage. This guarantee issue period lasts for six months from the start of your Medicare Part B. And it is referred to as your Medicare Supplement Initial Enrollment Period. That's different than your Medicare Initial Enrollment Period. Your Medicare Supplement Initial Enrollment Period lasts for six months from the start of your Part B. After those six months, you can still change Medicare Supplement plans anytime that you like, but you will have to go through medical underwriting. Medical underwriting consists of questions about your medical history. In general, the insurance company is going to be looking for a recent history of cancer, a stroke, heart attack, implanted medical devices, complications, complications from diabetes. Every insurance company has a different set of questions. Some even have different questions depending on the state that you happen to live in. In addition to the health questions, an insurance company is likely to also do a prescription check. By knowing your prescriptions, they will have a better understanding of your health condition. If you would like some examples of underwriting questions, if you have anything specific you would like to see, simply use the Contact Us form below and we'll be happy to send you out some samples so you can actually see specifically the questions you might be subject to at a later time. Let's talk prices. Your Medicare supplement plan, like any Medicare health plans, are going to be priced based on your area, your zip code, and your state of residence. In addition, you'll be asked your age and whether or not you use tobacco products. If you are not in a guarantee issue period, then your health questions, your health history will also be relevant. Beyond that, there are three different ways that a Medicare supplement plan can be priced. While this is not critical information because no one pricing method is better than another, it is useful to understand the difference. These are a community rated plan, an issue age plan, and an attained age plan. Attained age policies will have a small price increase each and every year just because you have attained an older age. Your policy is an annual policy, it's guaranteed renewable, but the price can change with an attained age policy. So as you get older each and every year, you'll see a small price increase. It might be 2%, could be 3%. In addition, you will have price increases based on inflation. Attained age policies, where they're available, are typically the lowest price policies for those who are new to Medicare. The issue age policy differs in that the price is based on the age you are when the policy is issued to you. It cannot increase in price every year just because you're a year older. However, it can and will increase due to inflation. Oftentimes, in some of the states that issue age is mandated, insurance companies have already raised the price relative to other states just to make up for the fact that they can't raise it each and every year due to being a, a year older. Community rated policies. With a community rated policy, everybody pays the same price. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, a 65 year old or 85 year old, everybody pays the same price. The insurance company will look for a median age of the people on Medicare in your area and price that policy towards that median age. In some places, this means that the people under the median age are paying a little bit more for their coverage and those over the median age are paying a little less for their coverage. That is all good information and you should know it because you'll want to know how your policy is priced once you've selected it. But again, there is no one pricing method that is better than the other pricing methods. What is more important are the state laws specific to your Medicare. States can have specific laws that impact both the pricing and the value of certain Medicare plans.
Some states mandate that all their plans are community rated. Other states mandate that uh, you can have issue age and community rated plans. Some states will make certain Medicare billing practices illegal. And there are three states that have Medicare supplements that are of their own design and completely different than any of the Medicare supplements available in other states. Eight states make certain Medicare charges illegal, which changes the value of certain Medicare supplement plans because those plans that insure against those charges are then making you pay for coverage that you don't need. The bottom line is it's more important to know about any state laws that your state may have regarding Medicare and Medicare supplements than it is to worry about specifically which of those three methods your Medicare supplement policy may be priced. Here is another very important point. Many people are snowbirds. We have snowbirds down here in South Florida where I live that uh, will often come down here for the winter time. Many seniors will actually spend time in, in multiple states. They might have a, a home state and then a state where their grandchildren are and have, have you know, spend equal time in both states. I'm often asked, well, if the Medicare supplements are priced based on where I live, can I simply choose which place to have my Medicare supplement priced from? The answer is no, you can't. Medicare is written into Social Security laws. On your Medicare supplement application, it will ask you for your place of residence. Social Security defines that place of residence as your permanent residence, where you vote, where you pay taxes. That application becomes part of your insurance policy. If you are not truthful on your application, then you have entered into a policy or policy contract fraudulently. Here's what happens. Insurance companies won't go out and look for plans and for, for problems like that whenever you sign up for a policy. However, what they may do is that when you have a large medical expense, they may check your state and address versus Social Security. If they have found that there's a discrepancy, they have the right to cancel your policy because you have entered into the policy under false pretense. In that case, you may find yourself in a hospital bed with a letter saying that your insurance has been canceled. It's not worth the risk. Let's take a quick look at all the Medicare supplement plans that are available to you. This table lists all the Medicare supplement plans and their benefits. You can find this table in your Medicare and You guidebook as well as in the Choosing a Medigap Policy guidebook. As you do your research on Medicare supplement plans, it's also important to know that no one insurance company is going to offer all of the plans. Many insurance companies only offer a few of the plans. That means that if you call up an insurance company to ask what's the best plan for me, they may not have the plan that's priced best for you in your area. You'll have to look at multiple insurance companies. For example, you don't want to pick on United Healthcare, great company, United Healthcare AARP. They have a great plan F and a plan N, but they do not offer a plan G, which is the best value in many different states. So again, just remember that not all insurance companies are going to offer all of the plans that are available to you. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this table. This table lists the plan type across the top row. Note that they're each designated by a letter. And also note the F has an asterisk. And the asterisk actually refers to the high deductible plan F. And we talk about that in specific on our video of the Plan F High Deductible. If you're interested specifically in that, we, we strongly urge you to see that video. On the left-hand column, we have the benefit categories. And then in the center is the percentages. And that's the percentage coverage. So, for example, a coverage of 100% means that you pay nothing. For example, your Medicare Part A co-insurance and hospital costs. You may recall that Medicare Part A will pay for your first 60 days at 
after 60 days, there is a per day copay that's due from Medicare Part A. With any insurance policy, that copay is covered, no out of pocket expense whatsoever. The Medicare Part B coinsurance or copayment, as you recall, Medicare Part B pays 80%, you're responsible for 20%. So these policies that show 100% coverage mean just that you pay nothing out of pocket. The Part A deductible is also covered. Part B deductible, which is covered by Plan C and Plan F. That Part B deductible is why Plan C and Plan F are being canceled as of the year 2020. They're canceling all plans that will pay that Part B deductible. Now in 2016, that Part B deductible is only $166. We talked about some states having uh, limitations or making certain charges illegal, and that would have to do with the Part B excess charges. We note that Plan F and Plan B have 100% coverage for Part B excess charges. In those states, which include Pennsylvania and Vermont and a number of others, those charges are illegal. So the Plan G all of a sudden isn't going to be your best value because you're paying for insurance coverage that you don't need. For specifics on this, we strongly suggest you take a look at our video on Medicare Supplement Plan N. So with this table, you can, at a quick glance, have a good idea of what coverage you'll get from any specific Medicare supplement policy. So here's how you go about shopping for your policy. First, take a look at the benefits and decide which policy you would like to have or which two policies you would like to have. You'll then need to find out which insurance companies offer those policies in your area and then at what price. Remember, not all insurance companies will offer the policy, and every insurance company is going to have a different price for the exact same policy. Now that's a lot of work, but I'll let you in on a secret. There's a way to get all of the plans that are available to you from all of the companies and all of the prices virtually instantaneously. All you need to do is send us in a quote request. Let's take a look and I'll show you what we can do for you. When you send in a quote request, we will take a look at your area, your zip code, and enter it into our, our system and come up with the plans that are available to you and their prices. All right, now to pull these quotes, I literally just used a, a zip code of a person that I was speaking to prior to doing this video. And so it just happens to be in New Jersey. Now, what I'm showing here is Plan F. I'm showing Plan F because it's the most comprehensive. It's by no means suggesting it's the best value for this area. Just to show you, remember Plan F covers 100% of, of everything. So here's what I'm trying to show. There are 20 different insurance companies offering a Plan F in this zip code. 20 different insurance companies. The lowest price is about $151 a month. The highest price, $215 a month. This is a standardized plan. There is no difference in the benefits. All these plans are identical yet you're looking at over $600 a year difference. So let's take a look at Plan N. There are 18 companies that offer a Plan N, the lowest being $97 and change a month, the highest $140 a month. There are also 18 companies that offer Plan G, the lowest at $133 a month, the highest at $190 a month, the exact same plan. And in case you didn't notice, the best price company for one plan was not the same for another plan. In addition, we speak in detail in another video and, and in some of our articles that the best price company for you at age 65 is unlikely to be the best price company when you're over 70. It's two completely different markets, which means that once you've purchased the plan, although you don't have to shop, it's wise to continue to look at the policies every couple years, especially if you get price increases, just to make sure that you are getting the best value you can get. Also, in many states, you can get a discount for having a, another person uh, 65 or older in your household or a discount if both of you have the same Medicare supplement company. That's going to depend on the state. In some states, like Florida, they don't allow those discounts. 
So yes, we provide this information for free. All you need to do is complete the quote request. In fact, the entire service that we provide of helping you find the right plan and the right price for you in your area is free because you don't pay us. Here's how it works. Once you choose a plan that you want and the insurance company that you would like that plan with, then it's the insurance company that pays us, not you. And you can't get a lower price going anywhere else. You can't get a lower price of doing it yourself. You can't get a lower price going direct to the insurance company. There are laws against that, and the insurance companies aren't going to challenge those laws. So to you, our service is free, just like these videos. And something else that is important, if you have been doing research and you've gone online, and there are many sites where it says free Medicare supplement quotes, and you put in your information, and within seconds you are inundated with a tsunami of telephone calls from insurance agents wanting to sell you something right then and there. That's because those sites sell that information. They, they have an immediate blast of your information onto X number of how many different insurance agents. We don't do that. When you complete a quote request, that information comes to us and it stays with us alone. We will manually take a look at where you are and all of the policies that are available. We already understand your state laws and we are going to email you a response with the prices that you need and then perhaps a link to articles for other information that we think might be important to you. And then one person is going to give you a call to make sure that you have received that email and that it didn't get into a spam folder. Now when you're shopping for Medicare supplement plans, yes we have showed there are 11 plans out there, you don't have to look at all 11 of them, but when you shop you should at least look at plan F because that covers everything and that can set the standard for what type of value the other plans might offer. So look at plan F, plan G, plan N, and in certain states your plan F high deductible as well as if you are in a state that has uh, regulations against Part B excess charges take a look at plan D. If you take a look at those prices and those policies the odds are the best value is going to be within that group. On our website are videos of each plan that may be important to you. We have a video specifically on plan F specifically on Plan G and on Plan N and on Plan F high deductible. And it's important if you are interested in any of those plans just to take a look, spend a few minutes going through those specifics. In the Plan N video we talk specifically about uh, many of the states that have specific rules that make Plan N the best value. There are a lot of videos out there that suggest that Plan G is the best value. It's often the best value but not in every case so don't don't assume, do your own shopping. As we mentioned in our last video, three out of ten people will choose a Medicare Advantage plan. Seven out of ten people across the country will choose keeping their original Medicare and a Medicare supplement. So why do people choose to keep their original Medicare and get a Medicare supplement over a Medicare Advantage plan? A Medicare supplement offers them freedom. They can go to any doctor, any hospital facility, and any specialist in the country. They have predictability. Your benefits aren't going to change from year to year. You don't have to keep looking to see if the changes in your policy are going to be okay for you. Original Medicare with a Medicare supplement offers you a higher level of health coverage. It doesn't offer the bells and whistles that some of the Medicare Advantage plans offer, but your maximum out-of-pocket risk for each and every year is going to be less than what you'll find with the Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare supplement policies have a monthly premium. If you can afford the premium, it's well worth it. And most importantly, is that original Medicare remains your primary insurance. And when you have original Medicare, you can rest assured that Medicare relies on your doctor's input in deciding what is medically necessary for you and it's Medicare that's going to cover your medically necessary procedures. So there you have it. With your understanding of Medicare, your understanding of Medicare Advantage plans from the last video and Medicare Supplement plans from this video, you now have enough information to move that first step forward and take a closer look at all of those plans. 
If you would like some quotes on the Medicare supplement plans, please simply complete the quote request. We'll have those emailed out to you. If you want more information on a Medicare Advantage plan, then simply use the Contact Us form uh, below and let us know. The goal of this video and all of the other videos that we've produced is to make sure that you have enough information to make an informed decision about your Medicare choices. Remember, this is your Medicare and it has to fit your needs. If you found this information useful, then chances are others will find it useful as well. So please share it when you can with your friends on social media. And also, if you're on YouTube, click the thumbs up button below, it's a, the like button. The more people will press the like button on these videos, the more likely they are to be found by others who are searching for answers on Medicare, just like yourself. I'm Matthew Clausen with MediGapSeminars.org. Thank you for watching.